today. So glad you are attending the Fit for Life Symposium on Brain Health. We are really excited to talk to you today because we're going to bring to you some sensational foods on brain health. So we got a lot of good things going on. I'm standing here with my friend Bill Kohlhoff, and we are actually here at Walt Churchill's on Briarfield Road in Maumee. And we're here to talk to you a little bit about the food that we're making. But first off, I just want to introduce, I'm Diana Patton. I run a company called Fititudes. Um, my business partner, Tanja Ward, and I started Fititudes a few years ago. And it's just Christian wellness principles that we live by. And I've been knowing Bill for about three years, has it a been? A little bit more, maybe. Probably a little bit more. Five or six. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> it time feels flies. like we've been together for a long time. It's Chef Bill Kohlhoff, who I think is the most sensational person who knows so much about food and not just food, but knowing about the health benefits of food, which is what we're gonna be sharing with you today. So Bill, why don't you just tell us a little bit about you and what you do here at Churchill's. Okay, well, first of all, I've been cooking, started when I was 16, so I've been cooking for almost 40 years now. Wow. Um, many different places, many different styles, and what I do here now is basically what I wanna do. I cook meals that uh, we are basically prepared meals to go that you can come in, pick up, take home, uh, reheat, uh, very convenient, uh, but I do pretty much all natural cooking. So when I make meals here, I'm making my own stocks for my sauces, you know, when I make my soups, I make actual stocks, I don't and use spaces. Sensational. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and over the years, uh, talking about different styles, what I've learned is that uh, really the, the simpler, the better. Right. Uh, good ingredients, as I say, you start with the best ingredients and then do as little damage as possible. And, and, and you can end up with a nice meal. Yeah, because you know, I think people really make yeah. cooking so difficult that it's not. Right. And I just remember, can I just share this story that when I was trying to make soups, one of my New Year's resolutions was to be a really good soup maker. And I came in here because Bill, I'm telling you, the soup is just to die for. And my kids love it. And so I said, Bill, what's the secret to making really good soup? He says, you know, first of all, you got to make certain you have good seasonings and good stock. Um, but the most important aspect is just cooking it with love and just right. really putting love into what you do. And I'm like, well, I can do that. Maybe I've been angry when I've been making <laughs> these soups. I don't know. So anyways, I just really know that it's very simple. And it's when you look at the food, it is very simple. I think we try to make it complicated and we all have to eat every single day. So. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with an awesome recipe that I just love. It was a recipe, uh, it's called avocado salad. And this okay. is by uh, Bill himself. And you know, people sometimes get all squeamish about avocados and because they're like, oh, it's filled with fat. Well, hopefully you all have learned that this is a good quality fat. This is a really good brain food. And you know, this it's, it's so cute because it's kind of shaped like a, a pregnant woman's belly. But anyways, the way that you pick a good avocado is, first of all, it's about this color. You, if it's green, that means it's it's not ripe yet. But one way to know if it's really ripe is you kind of take the belly button off, which you should probably be doing this at the store. But anyways, I'll tell you anyways. And if it's still green on the inside, then that's a pretty, pretty good avocado, right? Right. And then um, if it's dark on the inside, then, you know, that's probably, it's probably really ripe. It's not that it would be bad. I mean, have you used? Avocado. Well, you know, depending on how black or brown it is, and sometimes you work around, and depending on what you're using it for. And if you're just making guacamole for a party, I uh, usually want it to be a little uh, softer, you know, people like for a dip, you know, depending on what you're right. using it for. If you're using it for a nice salad to put some slices on the salad or whatever, you want something more like this. Okay. And again, for what we're doing here, yeah. I like it to be a little firmer okay. because I want some chunkiness and I want some texture to it. Mm -hmm. And as we go through this, we'll, we'll uh, you'll see. Okay, you know what, we didn't show you, are you gonna cut open this avocado? Sure, we can, we can do that we one again. Because we show you that it's not that difficult to cut open an avocado because some people get all stressed out about that. So show So we start, again, where uh, the belly button, we call yes. it, is. And uh, just insert the knife down till you feel the pit and then you just turn the avocado around the knife and it should just twist off. And like an Oreo, which you shouldn't be eating now, but <laughs> just twist like an and Oreo. And you can, you can use a spoon to dig the pit out, or you can, uh, if you take your knife, just be careful with it, and just kind of hit it in the middle, give it a little twist, and you just can take like the pit that. out. So and then that. again, you use the spoon, and you can just scoop uh, the avocado right out, and you're ready to go. If it's a very ripe avocado and you're making, uh, like I said, guacamole, you can just take that skin and you can just squeeze it right out oh, of the skin. Oh, very cool! Yeah. Into the bowl. I Again, never did because it that I want to, 
I want some chunks in this, so I'm not gonna do that with these. But you can see, if you're making guacamole, you do that, and then and you're done, you're halfway home. And, and again, what we try to do here, when I do classes, I try to make things simple that you do at home. I'm not trying to do a restaurant dish that's gonna be so complicated, you're not right. gonna to wanna to do it. And I try to show that it's really this easy to eat this well at home, it's not time consuming. So, speaking of time consuming, so we get the <laughs> avocados, and uh, just quick, 